Hi. <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the thrombal dryer belt, hot point and similar appliances. Most of them are the same, hot point and the same, um, too many brands are very similar. So first I want to check if the problem is the, uh, the thrombal dryer, uh, the, 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 the belt. To check that, you turn your thrombal dryer. So you hear in there, you hear in this sound of the motor. So the motor is working. And, and if you open tantally, come here with the camera, you should see the drum is bending. Because when you open the door, it should close normally. It should turn off, but you will see the drum is about to stop. It's not completely stopped. So if I open now quickly and look there with the torch, it's, it's, it's stationary, it's not moving, and it is hot. So that means the drum is not moving, it's getting hot, the element is working, but the, the belt is not there to bend the thrombal dryer. So now I know the problem is the thrombal dryer, uh, the, the, the thrombal dryer belt. So now I'm going to take it off, disconnect the power, turn it off. Uh, Disconnect the power, everything, and take it off, and then I show you how to change the belt. So that size and a similar. So I just disconnect it here. That's all I do. I just disconnect in the. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just bring it here. Clock. Now. Okay. First thing you want to do is to take this bubble off. And, and in the back here, you have to disconnect a couple of screws. Here, first, we have to take out the two screws, the first two you need to take out, so we can slide this cover off. Like so. And this is the second one. Now we're ready to slide this. Here, if you hit here on the front, on the front of this cover, if you hit here a couple of times, just to tap like that, to be able to slide it like that. Open it. Now it's open. Now you see, straight away you see the the, the belt is not there. The belt it should be running here. You see the sign. Of the belt running it's not there that mean the belt is, is somewhere in the bottom uh, because it has been has been burned of course you can see from here maybe when we open more uh, we'll be able to see it so now after that what do you want to do you want to disconnect this side panel Just one screw there the side panel and then one two three four four on this side so I'll just connect them all because you won't be able to remove it completely an easy job to do once you know how to do it and if you watch it couple of videos I think it's not hard better than waiting uh, somebody to come out to do and a charge you portion so now I cut the side panel and now I'm looking for the belt the belt is here you see 
action here. Mm. Across the belt. Across the belt. Uh, damage. That's what happened. That's what happened. This is the fluff from the cloth, you know, normally. We changed this a couple of months ago. I think the bad of the belt, the quality of the belt was not good. So it's always to check what brand you're going to get. And I was preferring to get the one with eight, eight of these. So it's more weight and would be stronger. But the supplier again, make a mistake and sick. 10 meters, the one with six, six of these, so less width, and I think that's why it didn't last a longer time. But anyway, we'll try our best this time. Um, so, the second thing we want to do after this is our belt here, our new belt. is hmm, same number and but if you have uh, this type of outlines of hot point and uh, 6 phe i recommend really because last time i had the 8 phe eight, 8 mean and 6 the only different with the same size 199 one millimeter but the only different 6 it mean have 6 of this vent if it's eight, it will have eight of those, so it will be a little bit wider and stronger. So that's why I would prefer in that, but the supplier again, he sent me that one by mistake. So I have to use it because, um, because we have been out for a week and really we need it. So I'm going to use that one until I get some other one anyway, and hopefully that will last more than the other one anyway. So that's the belt anyway. So next time what I want to move, I wanted to be able to put the belt from the front of the drum here. So to do that, I need to disconnect this screw from here and I need to disconnect a couple of the front or be able to slide this panel off and push it to the front so I can take the belt in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So. I have to screw in it to this uh, to be able to And the other two screw I need to get here in the back behind the water tank. We need to take this off because we're gonna be opening the whole thing this way. So this screw is holding this side now with this three, and now this two screw is holding this plastic for the water tank. So I'm taking them out now. And to completely move that. I have to take this by box, so just twist it like that and lift it. So that's okay. So that's now it can move freely. So just disconnect the hose again. This hose again, just slide it down. That's all. Now we see the whole thing is going to be able to to move it. And that's what we want for now. So now, I'm going to come here to the front. And remove this. Remove this two screw. One. And the other one is there. Two. Maybe I hit that the third one as well. Okay, I have them here. 
Now this was holding this panel down, so if I want to move it up, I have to have this off. See, now I can move it up. So I want to do that, be able to slide, take this off. Now, if you bring the camera here, please. So now what I need to do, I need to have a gap here. You see, I'm trying to make a gap here so I can slide my belt in. So I can do that by lifting this panel up and then pushing it back outside. So now I'm going to take it out like this. Just remove that as well, the condenser. This is away now. So you see this gap, I'm opening a gap there. This gap, what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this gap. So I can slide the belt in. So I will probably will move the right hand side as well. Right hand side panel. I could try without, but I think no harm. It's a couple of screws and I have it out. And as usual, there's one here. See when when I remove it now the whole thing you know the gap is opening and that's what I want. You see the gap is opening now and that's what I want so I can slide my belt in. Now I get my belt, check it in the same size and same number everything as I checked before. It says nineteen ninety one six BHE. 144 exactly same well as i said if you get eight it would be even better so now i try to put that in there in the gap drop it in the gap yeah yeah Try it so now I can do that. Like this. So now the belt is on end. Now I have to put that back. The front panel. At the same time, try to place the drum in position. I have the belt in and I know like that that's the hardest 
the belt to get the belt in in place. Now to hold that back, I can actually hold the two screw here now. To hold that bit together. Now Now I need to put to slide the belt try to fix it in place you see the mark of the old belt anyway so somewhere here try to straight it out and have it like so now the job is here after we finish that, we nearly finish. So what you need to do here, we need to slide that on that wheel and on the motor here. Okay, so as you can see, the motor thing is continuous, so we need to take that off. We need to take this bar off the van cover. So take the wire off like so. Just leave it outside a little bit. And here with just wait. With just try to open that like so. Uh, I have this cover off. See, and then now with something like that, you have a clip inside there. Clip, you show that clip. This clip, we need to take it outside. So we need to take it so we'll be able to pull this fan. So we have to press with this thing so to release it. I'll just put that from here and put like this and press. You see now take it off the clip. Work with the pressure. So if you press here now you see. You release it. That's how we release it. So now we have that. And now we need to take this fan. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. of tab maybe like so came out already so what we need to do now we need to put that here on the back of the wheel and we need to put it in place here so just take that the wheel just to make sure it is clean and nothing is there that can damage the belt for me it looks clean but I don't know why it didn't last maybe the belt quality because I changed a couple of months ago maybe the belt quality uh, or as I said if you get a stronger one would be maybe better See this flop everywhere. I'm going to do some hover when I put the the belt in place before I close everything back. Just you know, quick clean. 
no harm would even help maybe not gonna harm anyone to have that clean I'm gonna do a quick over uh, over just but not for now what I need to do uh, the most important thing is to put the belt in place I have that clean I checked it and you know nothing it's not broken no crack in it or anything so this should be fine no crack or anything so now I put that here It doesn't matter which way anyway I have that here and now maybe I just put the belt first and then I can try to tighten it with the wheel yeah you see you see this vent has to go in there okay so now what I need to do with this wheel I need to get that wheel like that behind the belt and try to tie the belt so I can bring the wheel take a couple of minutes and some adjustment until you get it right so this one up there and this belt should be behind it and run over here yeah I think that will work yeah thanks God <laughs> You have to fly this belt back. Yeah, now, now finally, finally I have the belt in place on the wheel. And I want it in the I want it to be in the middle, so I'm gonna move it on this here. So now I need to make sure it is here on the right place. Moving it so that you see. It's smooth now when you're moving it. That's the main thing. That's what you want. You want the belt to be have a good grip on the drum so it can run it smoothly. That's all we want at the moment. I think we have the belt done now. So now we're going to have some cleaning here. With the hover uh, as long as we get because we already have it open anyway it's a good chance to have a good clean put the van back remember you have to slide that in and have to stop when it is it is clicking telling me the correct position and now I need to put the clip again you remember that clip just the breast here. Do it that way. A breast and then what I have. Yeah, like that. Gone in. So 
Something in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. all just slide back in place and put the wire here and the lens came here okay now now we're putting everything together We can actually test the before. Yeah, but the three screw here on the front. I'm thinking to try it. Test this before. We just for everything is okay. Looks okay, actually. Connect that back and get that one for the holes. Connect that back, get everything in place here, put that behind that here, and it goes this way. Have all the holes connected. All you have to do at the moment is just to put the cover. Here. In the front. This way. And slide it. And just to put the first two screw we took off. So the three, I think I put them here. Now, job done, we have the thrombo dryer belt replaced. Thank you. We do the test that we did in the beginning. You see, we run it. You hear the motor and come here. So when I open your watch, you will see the drum still. You see? The drum was still moving. 